Hey everyone, and welcome to London. Normally when I'm traveling between the New York City area and London, I find myself in the economy cabin on a plane like this. Legacy carriers like United provide a nice service on this route. You can expect to find a pillow and a blanket at your seat when you get on board. And once you're up in the air, the flight attendants will usually give you a drink of your choice, followed by some sort of meat or vegetarian friendly meal. The seats will normally be equipped with IFB screens, storage pockets, and outlets. The service on board is usually good, and I've always found the IFB systems to be well stocked with things to keep you entertained. Most airlines also have Wi-Fi, but you'll need to pay if you want to browse the internet. Planes like the 767 are wide bodies, so there's more room to stroll around the cabin as well as plenty of lavatories to take care of business. You can expect a small snack at the end of the flight, and like I mentioned before, I've almost always enjoyed every flight I've had on this route with the larger legacy carriers. But that hasn't stopped JetBlue from jumping into the mix and trying to upend the status quo with their own service on this very profitable route. A few months ago, I shared my experience with this new service aboard their A321LR from New York to London, and that video did much better than I was expecting. So I thought I'd make another trip report on the return flight from Heathrow to JFK, because some of you might find it interesting to see what the service is like going in the opposite direction, and hey, maybe this video will blow up like the last one. This flight was scheduled to leave around 2 o'clock in the afternoon from Terminal 2, and I made sure to arrive nice and early so I could do a little plane spotting. Next to all those wide bodies, this A321LR looked a little out of place, but after my last flight coming to the UK with JetBlue, I was looking forward to getting on board. There's four rows of extra legroom seats towards the front of the economy cabin, but I'll be sitting all the way back in 29A today. There's 90 normal economy seats on this plane, and they're all in a 3-3 layout. The headrests are adjustable, and I found the seats to be reasonably comfortable on my last flight. The seat back pockets along with the overhead bins offer great storage space, and a blanket and an amenity kit were waiting for everyone when they got on board. Airport in New York. My name is Eric. It's my pleasure to be flying with Ryan, Eric, Vanessa, and Amanda. Our captain has advised me that our flying time to New York approximately seven hours and 23 minutes from wheels up to wheels down. Your safety is our top priority, so appreciate a few minutes of your attention while we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. You can follow along with the safety information card in your seat back pocket. This flight wasn't very crowded, so there weren't any delays and we pushed back from the gate on time. We'll be adjusting the main cabin lights for departure. If you need it, there's a reading light above your seat. We're here to make sure you have a safe and comfortable flight. Thank you so much for your attention. We hope you enjoy the JetBlue experience. Let's take a closer look around. I found the cabin to be very comfortable. There's plenty of legroom, the IFE screen is nice and responsive, there's a universal outlet, and the tray table is pretty big. Shortly after takeoff, the crew handed out some drinks. Complimentary alcohol was available, but I decided to go with a soft drink instead. The next item on the agenda for the flight attendants was lunch. One of the most innovative features of this new flight is how JetBlue has reimagined the meal service. Instead of having just two choices, JetBlue allows you to customize your meal by selecting several tapas style dishes via the IFE system. Our meals were put together in front of us. I decided to go with the hot honey chicken, the sweet potatoes, and the marinated cucumbers. The food was absolutely delicious, 
and was just as good as the meal I had on my JetBlue flight going to London a few weeks before. My one complaint is that the eco-friendly cutlery didn't really hold up well, especially when it came to the ice cream at the end. After lunch, I decided to walk around the cabin. There's a complimentary snack bar in the rear of the plane, and two lavatories right behind it. Once I got back to my seat, I opened up the amenity kit. They didn't hand out a sleep kit since this was a daytime flight, but I'm still really impressed that JetBlue is handing out amenity kits at all in economy. Later it was time to sit back, relax, and find something to watch. There was a solid selection of movies and TV shows available, and you could watch live TV, but I'm a huge fan of the free Wi-Fi that JetBlue provides that's fast enough to stream Netflix. For me, flying transatlantic on a narrow body really isn't a big deal, especially with all the amenities that JetBlue has provided. But in my last video I posted about this route, I was surprised by how many of you were dead set against the idea. I guess the smaller cabin on this type of jet makes people feel more claustrophobic on longer flights like this, and there was less room in the aisle to stretch out. The limited number of restrooms also posed the problem, and long lines formed throughout the flight as people were forced to wait a while to use one of the two bathrooms in the economy cabin. Two announcements actually had to be made about passengers blocking the aisle because the crew couldn't get through. More drinks were handed out as we crossed into North America, and then the crew served everyone a warm pretzel. I know it doesn't look like much, but it actually tasted great, and it was a nice way to end the service as we approached New York. Please do a final check around your seat in the seat back pocket for items you like to discard or recycle, and hand it to us to pass the cabin. Thank you so much for your cooperation. We hope you and your loved ones remain healthy and safe. It's been an absolute pleasure serving you today. We'll landing shortly. This was a great flight, and I was happy to hear that JetBlue will be expanding their transatlantic service with flights between Boston and London starting this summer. In my opinion, JetBlue's transatlantic flights are much better than what you'll get with the legacy airlines, and it was also the cheapest option when I was booking. Yes, the larger cabins and additional bathrooms on wide bodies are nice, but the extra comforts that JetBlue provides along with their great crews really made this a better experience than what I'm used to. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching and let me know below if you're excited to see JetBlue adding more transatlantic flights.